Cybos 2020 sees the launch of the Cybos Academy, a new stream dedicated to providing expert educational content to foster industry dialogue. And the director of the Swift Institute, Peter Ware, now joins us to tell us all about it. Peter, a very good morning to you. What are the objectives morning, of the... Johnny. Good to see you. What are the objectives of the new Cybos Academy stream? How would you describe them? It's very much focused on education. Uh, so we wanted to provide a stream of content um, that looks at all the, the issues that are impacting the, the global financial industry, um, but really trying to attack it from an educational perspective, trying to bring those from outside the industry into the debate and offer a, a diversity of thought. Over the years, we've had many academics who have, have given their insights at Cybus, uh, typically looking at projects that have been sponsored, research projects sponsored by the Swift Institute. But this year, we wanted to take it a step further. And so we've uh, we've still got academics being involved, but we've also got other experts, such as uh, the World Bank. Uh, we've got people from KPMG, from Deloitte, um, and also from, from the Swift community as well. Peter, it's lovely to see you. Um, can I just ask who the Academy is aimed at? Uh, well, it's aimed, it's aimed at everyone. Uh, learning should be a constant process. Uh, you're, you're never too old to learn. And so we're, we're, we're trying to aim uh, this, this year's content at people who um, maybe just be starting uh, their, their careers and, and uh, just starting out within financial institutions, uh, but also going right up to, to the executive level. There's so much that's going on in the industry. It's, it's evolving so rapidly. And so it's very tough to keep up with all that's going on. And so the idea of the, the educational approach is that it should appeal to everyone and offer insights um, to, to help you manage and, and uh, move forward in your, your business. And what does the programme look like for Cybos Week? We have a great lineup this week. Um, so we've got a different session running every day and also uh, some different formats that may not have necessarily been, been seen at Cybos before. So our first session coming up today, it's looking at probably one of the, the, the biggest topics uh, that, that people are talking about, central bank digital currencies. If you ask 10 different people to define what they are, you probably get 10 different answers. So our session coming up later on today is specifically trying to define what central bank digital currencies are and what they're not. Uh, tomorrow, we've got a session where we're looking at uh, compliance and anti-money laundering. This session is based on two different Swift Institute research grants that are currently underway. They're, they're not actually complete yet. So Cybus delegates will get a sneak preview into to how these, these research projects are, are, uh, are progressing. Um, our third session on, uh, on Wednesday, it's going to be on the broad theme of the technological revolution in financial services. And it's based on a, a recently published book um, that has been put together by a, a whole series of, of experts. And every chapter in the book is written by a different expert. And so we have the two editors of the book. They are interview, going to be interviewing three different chapter authors, uh, specifically looking at fintech and disruption and adoption financial regulation, and also diversity in financial services. And then we'll round out the week on, on Thursday with a session that's looking at emerging technologies. And this is based on a new report that's been published by Deloitte and the World Economic Forum. And this is looking at technologies um, such as artificial intelligence, uh, DLT, 5G, quantum computing, and so on. And so what they're going to try and do is offer financial institutions a guide to how to better implement and utilize these new technologies. How about the Swift Institute uh, Student Challenge? Can we expect a return of that this year? Absolutely. We, we couldn't not include it. This is the, the fifth annual Swift Institute Student Challenge, and, and it's always a, a, a great uh, a great segment for, for Cybos. It's, uh, it's, it's great working with the students. Uh, so what we've done is we've put a challenge to university students. Uh, this year, the challenge is how to protect financial institutions' data and applications from, from cyber attack. And then we let them interpret that in any way they want and come up with ideas on how to, to deal with that challenge. So we've got four finalists. And we'll each, uh, each day this week, we'll have one of the finalists present their ideas. They have 10 minutes to, to pitch their idea. Uh, we've been working with the students for, for a good few months now. And, and so it's, it's great fun getting to, uh, to know them and, and to watch them uh, evolve their ideas and, and so on leading up to this point while they'll, they'll present. 
I have to say they're really excited. Um, they think it's a, a great opportunity to present to, to the global financial industry. They are also quite nervous as well, as I'm, I'm sure you can imagine. Um, but there's some really good ideas, some really interesting ideas. And we'll announce the, the winner on Thursday at the close of Cybus here on Cybus TV. Okay, so something to look forward to. But what is the Academy planning post Cybos week? Because you guys never sleep. <laughs> uh, well, I think, as you know, uh, Cybus this year is going beyond the four days this week. We're going to have a Cybus monthly session on the second Tuesday of every month from November through to, to March of next year. And so we've got Cybus Academy sessions for every, every month uh, going forward. Um, we're going to start off in November. We're working with the, the UK's payment systems regulator, and they're going to be giving us a future look into to the world of payments and, and uh, what that might entail. For December, we're working with the London School of Economics and looking at uh, building a session around digital identity. For January, we're working with Oxford University and the Harvard Kennedy School and building a session around diversity in financial uh, services. And um, we're still working on, on the plans for February and, and March. We've got some uh, interesting ideas percolating. We're looking at possibly sessions around tokenized assets, possibly quantum computing, maybe something on cybersecurity. But it's all exciting and it's great that the, the, the whole cybers conversation is going to continue beyond this week. It sounds like there's plenty for us to get our teeth Absolutely. into over the coming days. Peter, thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully, if we don't see you before, we'll see you thank Thursday you. Uh, for the announcement of the uh, SWIFT Student Challenge uh, Award winner. Uh, that was Peter Weir, Director of the SWIFT Institute.